Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. Uh, we are picking up immediately where we left off last time, which is the beginning of this long elevator ride upwards. And we got a beat em up Streets of Rage style elevator here. I mean, I guess you can't really attribute that to Streets of Rage, it's just a beat em up staple. I just have uh, Streets of Rage on the mind lately. Went back to my old Genesis collection and started playing Streets of Rage 1 and 2. Uh, so, the very first wave of enemies, you can see all the green health bars, they are really just fodder. But it's a lot of fodder. You would have to consider just being efficient against them. Because as you can see from the gauge in the top, to writing ah. before the floor collapses. Just clear that up, but it was halfway depleted, which means halfway to a game over. And of course, we're not done by a long shot. Oh, I love that uh, the edges of the platform of the elevator are not flush with the wall. They leave a gap so you can actually kick enemies off and just make this go a little bit quicker. They don't take very long to kill, but like a full combo versus them just coincidentally getting flung off the side. Ah, oh, it's really nice. Works out. I just realized we haven't used that yet. God, I love River of Knives. It's also really strong if you get like every one to hit. Like if you're if you're um point blank throwing that out. Actually does crazy damage. Yeah, we gotta be quick. Dispatch them with the swiftness. Ooh! This is a really cool effect. How the floor tilts. It goes topsy-turvy. As uh, the sand depletes. Or the energy depletes, rather. Yeah, no rest for the wicked this time. Ah, big pains in the asses. Nightmares, and I'm pretty sure... Hmm. Oh, where are you? I know there's something else that's gonna be annoying. Oh no, maybe not in this wave. Usually they go by the rule of threes. This might be a fourth wave incoming. Or the thing that I'm thinking of might just happen towards the end of this one. Yes, yes, big crowd controlling sweeps. Oh, we are gonna get some very, very tasty crowd control in the very near future. This is it. God, putting a revenant here is such a dick move. Like, they're not formidable, strong enemies, they are just designed to eat up time. And time is the one thing that you don't really have here. Yes! God! The th don't you love that? Don't you love that you can throw the revenants over the edge or knock them off? Oh, there is. Oh, yeah, okay. Father, the ball dropped away. Oh no, stop. Multi-heading move. To blow both of these. There isn't a fourth wave. There is just an ending sequence here. We did a good job. You did well. Thanks. The boy. 
Just having a little fun, you big grump. Yeah. More and more complimentary over time. I love it. I feel like God of War really makes the most out of how long it is, which is funny because the old games were like five, six hours each. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. This one is substantially longer. They use that time really well. Yes, sir. To make the character growth feel organic. Helps that Atreus's actor is also really good. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. How do I get to this chest again? Do I drop from here? No, I guess that's too far. Alright, so... Ah! Hunting down Sindri. They can't see him, but they can apparently smell him. Yeah, you know, actually, that's a thing that I want to bring up. Most games don't really incorporate that in their imagery. Like the sense of smell, they never really address that, but they do that quite often in God of War. Those were the guys we saw with Baldur. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods, and Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? We'll never even see him. Oh, this chamber. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. So we can see shadows either encased or behind the ice. More likely encased. So we just need to find a way to break these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mimir just mentioned the candelabra. You just can't help but break things, can you? All right. So there's an easy way to do this room, uh, and then there's the fun way to do this room, which is to say, unleash everything you can at once. Uh, so we not only have this mini boss, we also have the troll behind them. <laughs> this is the fun way to do this. <laughs> Plus all of the ice nightmares and the other regular one. So our this son of a bitch, this nightmare has him. Child, you can free yourself from that. I believe in you. Uh, so our plan 
is to ride this Arkham Asylum Titan monster and just kind of take down the boss slash mini boss with it. <laughs> we just gotta stun it first and we're good. <laughs> I love doing this room this way. You can totally just do it one at a time. But nah, this is fun. Like, that's big ass damage. That's not to be slept on. <clears throat> wow, there was no way I could dodge that. I was coming out of that, out of the invincibility from that animation and didn't have control back before the active frames on his attacks were hitting me. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can pick these up in combat. Nah. I want to bomb him with it. This is okay. Yep. We even see another one of those uh, not hidden chambers. We have come across some Odin's hidden chambers. They're locked behind the same seals as that door. In the background. Oh my god, there's a lot to pick up all at once. And this is a new runic attack. This is Boar Stampede. I rather like this one. I still think the wolves are my favorites, but that's pretty good, too. Oh, and this is going to release more. We didn't actually have time before combat started up to uh, toss three bombs. Oh, you know what? We might have been able to toss three at a time and then shoot them all once they were uh, planted. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Oh, well. Jesus, that upgrade for uh, for the shock arrows is so amazing. You get to just paralyze multiple enemies with chain lightning. Oh, hey. I like this, the bite sound on the that animation that we don't see too often. Of them coming out of the stun state. Oh! You forgot about that! You forgot about their leaping command grabs! Yeah, you're not gonna have a chance to do that. And he's paralyzed again. Yeah, lots of intense fighting to be had this episode. This is not even nearly the end of it. This is good. It's ramping up a bit. Uh, what else do we have around here? We all done? Yep, so we're just climbing up. Let's see. We did see the boar stampede, so I think I'm just going to go back to the wolves finally. We had Falcon Dive on for a while, uh, and I'm going to be upgrading the wolves too. Like I said, I think they're my favorite runic summon. Something ahead. Alright, Kratos, damn. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Hey, Sindri, could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't know how much else going on right now. You quit that shit. I mean it. Alright, did we get anything? We didn't get Frozen Flame, don't have enough steel. We can upgrade the Quiver. Let's make sure I didn't miss. Yep, nothing in the Lost Items tab. So yeah, let's get that Quiver upgrade, go up to four arrows. Those get expensive, but they are uh, absolutely worth it. Atreus, on top of just being a good, solid character and providing a lot of foundation for Kratos' own growth, on top of being a fun character and a compelling one in his own right, is also just a tremendous asset in combat. 
So the more you can do to pump him up, uh, the better. Hate when the prompts are finicky like that. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 back the emoji. So these two are hype as hell. Also, Magni is just Tusk from KI. He's just Tusk. Look at him, he's Tusk. No, 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 no. We are gonna work hard towards just stunning Magni. Oh, we're not gonna let anything interrupt that. My God, we are going ham. Oh, right, that's what happens. We did, uh, it's damage based, so even though we built that stun bar all the way. That's, uh, the phase change. Or rather, uh, the start of one. We still have to ship down Modi to the same health threshold. Two pips. Jesus, that was an ass whooping. But now we get this! Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Oh, no. Come here. You don't Shut up! Don't call me that! The fucking teamwork on this is great. So now they get a couple of new abilities, uh, in, along with the uh, extra lightning enchanted stuff. Oh, and this! Uh. Yo, Magni and Modi are so hype. <laughs> you should be going down. I think it's another two pips, right? Got that AoE hammer toss. Oh, and that. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> this game does have some ridiculously fun bosses. Like, just hype shit. Well, I took a lot of chip damage. A lot of damage that I didn't realize I was taking uh, in that second phase. Oop. Feel that one. Again, I am so happy that we invested in that guard break earlier. Ah, it was a good fake out. I didn't expect them to both be coming from the same direction. Ah, it's not gonna work twice. They don't always fake you out in that phase, but Sometimes. Stop it! Boy, stay focused. Go! 
sometimes they decide not to. Most of the times they do. Oh, I hit both of them with the river of knives. That was really, really nice. Plus, you get to damage both of them at once because, again, the shock arrows are amazing along with that upgrade that makes them bounce. Damn it. Also, I love how their whole strategy is just incense Atreus. We know he has some anger issues, right? Yo, look at Tusk swinging for the fences. Sick. He needs flair. No. Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine. See. We should keep an eye on him. There's my frozen flame I was looking for. Hey, it only took like 10 hours to kill our first god this time. Also, the kid's got a touch of the tuberculosis again. He's anime mom disease. that we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim, get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. Yes. One more tool in our belt. Literally a flaming tool in our belt. Uh, to... Unlock all the sealed doors. Come across a couple of them. I pointed one out in the big ice chamber. Ah, uh, the dining hall. Killed Maggie. That he did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment? No. But if vengeance is any concern... Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> yeah, cough. It's not getting any better. I don't remember this being here. What is this? Either way, we're gonna ignore all the seals for the first time because, again, this is not a Nornir chest. Oh, it's to get the branches off of this. Uh, I thought we needed something later to do this. Either way, this unlocks more of the world for us. Also unlocks a couple of convenient shortcuts back. It's mainly a story progression tool, this chisel. And also opens up a hey, lot of side quests we'll be seeing. Wait, we were here before. Which way back? 
That's weird. The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes. Yes. To work we go. First off, we are going to do this. I, uh, threw an on the house. Oh yeah, and we get an extra 15 strength every time as well. Ah, uh, no quiver upgrades. Oh, what? And, oh, look at all this new dope legendary shit that he can craft. Uh, that we do not have nearly enough materials for. And we are not going to be grinding uh, for those anytime soon. We are going to work our way backwards, though, now that we have this chisel. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. So all this is, is a mini game of hot and cold. Uh, when you find the spot that makes the chisel glow, you hit R2, and that's about it. Oh, did I move a little bit too far to the upper right once I had it? Ah, fuck me. There we go. Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. There we go. Where is Atreus? He was stuck on the corner, but usually his arrows will clip through. Oh, I'm a dummy. I'm a big dummy. We need a shatter crystal. Uh, and having this will unlock two things for us. First, uh, this light crystal. We saw the pedestal for that while we were on our way here. And then we also saw uh, a chest with some branches covering it that we can blow up with a Shatter Crystal in a sec. Uh, this one, do we have Dust of Realms or do we just have a challenge which will lead to Dust of Realms? Nope. This is just an item. Nice. Grab this one more Shatter Crystal and we'll see what we have for us in this chest. Hope this is. Uh, I don't really know. There's nothing that I feel like I need too badly right now. That'll do it. Some steel. I think his his uh, bow still uses the soft version of the steel. Look, back near the giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fisherman would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There is an opening. I can get it. Alright, so we need to help ferry Atreus across to the other side. The other side. Like I said, gotta ferry him to this side. Oh, first we have to break this. Holy shit. Holy shit, he is not doing well. Now we'll freeze this in place. He can jump off and drop the chain for us, so we can ride the ferry back across to uh, the other side. Yikes. That's gonna be a yikes from me. Now we just have to release the axe and we'll start moving again. That one I think was just a sneeze.
Now, I'm not sure why Atreus could not have just dropped the chain without having to be ferried back and forth like this. But either way, we got across. This is where we need to be. Uh, and this will again lead us back to where we were. Where are you? Oh, you sneaky, sneaky bastard. There you are. Back under his palm. We're almost there. I actually really like that Mimir is navigating this place, like, via landmarks, but the landmarks are the parts of Thammer. Like the thumb and the palm. So this is where we were. I'm looking around to make sure we don't miss a certain sealed door. But I don't think we're there yet. Uh, there's an optional one that we'll finally get soon. And uh, it's one that I really don't want to miss. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. Thanks. Aww. There we are. There it is. I'm excited for this. Uh, this one is entirely optional. This is one of Odin's hidden chambers. The first one, obviously, that we're going to be doing. There's two. This one's special, so it needs, I think, at least three. I think this is a combination of this being just a tiny bit finicky, and also, because it's... If you let go of the stick, his hand starts drifting back, so I always wind up hitting it too early, rather than pressing forward. Like, I, I knee-jerk it. <laughs> it's really stupid. to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I prefer the last panel was burned. Such a senseless pity. Ah, oh, yeah. This place. It feels like... like a prison. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling. Like something is waiting for us down here. You have a knack for ominous statements, lad. What kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy. We will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. Oh, look at this big ominous looking boss arena! Uh, we're just gonna press this prompt real quick to activate this in case we want to come back at some point. Uh, I don't think I've been activating too terribly many of those? And I'm not sure if they actually need to be interacted with in order to become active. So I'm just taking that precaution. Oh, that must be on the right side down below. Yeah, I saw the dot for that prompt. Now, before we head into this big obvious arena, let's take care of some last minute things. Bro and sweep. Oh, hell yes! Yes, these finally. We finally unlock these. Uh, these are like the Devil May Cry uh, delay combos. Where you switch stances by hitting the button and then waiting a second. And then you get a different set of follow-up combos. 
uh, like after we leap across like this. So we stop pressing the button for a second, and then we get a whole different suite of light and heavy attacks. Present. She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here? So there are, I think, seven Valkyries? Plus the Valkyrie Queen as a part of an optional series of side quests. Uh, and leading up to an optional super boss. These are just regular kind of difficult optional bosses. But they're uh, unique ones. And they're pretty cool in their design, I would say. Uh, I never did any of the Valkyries on my initial playthrough, so we're going to learn as we play. Oop, that is unlockable. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, shit. Gunir. Oh, God, that attack looks so cool. That yellow energy scythe. Damn, that's useful. Oh, there's a follow-up there. That's the unblockable. So it's hit, 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 hit. Unblockable. Is this the one she... Yeah, she twirls around twice, and we got the witch time on both. Oop. There's two spins. Eh, this is going decently. For a first attempt. Yeah, look how much damage the River of Knives does when it hits. Ah, shit. No, we'll try that again. Uh, when all of the hits connect. I think I got a little bit cocky there. I, I actually didn't expect them to put up the fight that they do. Also, whew, starting to feel the age of this gear that I've barely been upgrading. <laughs> uh, I think I got this, though. Like, I love to play RPGs or games uh, with character progression, I should say, like this. You know, push your equipment and your skills to the limit. And then do a whole lot of upgrading all at once so you feel the biggest difference possible. Not any of, like, that incremental shit where you're just making the numbers go up one or two or three at a time. But when you go from, like, the most garbage gear in the game and you get, like, maybe half, three quarters of the way through... And then you finally upgrade. That feels real good. <laughs> Plus, it lets me struggle for a bit, which I always appreciate. It's never fun upgrading the challenge out of a game. Or, like, min-maxing the difficulty away. This Valkyrie is a super fun fight. Like, this is... The arena is beautiful. The design is entirely bespoke for, like, a God of War 2018 boss. It's actually a fun fight. This is actually way more than I expected. Kind of didn't expect them to go this all out for an optional boss. It's good shit, though. That parry is so powerful. Uh, this would actually be even easier with the talisman to upgrade your parry. Uh, I'm gonna have to go out of my way to go get that at our next opportunity. Like I said, I'll, we'll be doing more of the side content, like the optional quests and stuff around the Lake of Nine, uh, after our next set of, um, our next set of story items. Uh, which will be in the very near future. So we'll get the, the Harry Talisman after that. Because that is on an optional island. Yeah, no, that's so good, though. Looks like she is in a new phase. Her eyes are glowing purple. She's taking a lot less damage now, too. Doesn't look like it's actually affecting, like, what she's doing. It's just she's... I think she's hitting harder. Might be moving a bit quicker. I don't know. 
She's definitely taking less damage. But now, we can just kind of... Oh, we couldn't even clean up that last hip with a full bar of Rage of the Gods. No. This isn't going bad at all. That attack's cool as hell. Oh, that's like some kind of dark miss. That might inflict blind if it hits. Look how fucking cool the Valkyries are! You have freed me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude. But my sisters remain trapped as I was. Take my helm. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rest on your shoulders. That's the coolest helmet ever. I want that in WoW. The fate of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? A fair question, and yet not one easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. My own experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, Head. As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures, but perhaps if we can free more of them... You want us to find more of those things? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy endeavor there is not. It will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you before, eh? Mm. That's the spirit. So, Valkyrie number one down. You have to kill all of them in order to unlock the super boss. Uh, so... I am going to go ahead and not show the rest of the regular Valkyries, because I think they're fairly similar. I know they have some differences in movesets, but I also know the Super Boss Valkyrie has all of their combined movesets, so... Eh, maybe I'll throw them all into an intermission. Ah, I think that might be a better way to do it. Eh, yeah, fuck it, why not? Back out into the fro frozen wilderness and onto the boat. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yotnai, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Freya end up her hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. 
I'm gonna interrupt Mimir's story for a purpose just to show just to show this feature off that I was uh, alluding to earlier in the LP. Uh, so we're gonna get off the boat, which interrupts his story, and then we're gonna get back on and row around for a little bit. Did you see something out there? That tower. I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. So Odin robbed Freya of a warrior spirit? Aye. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. It's a really natural way of resuming conversations that get cut off. Uh, it alleviates a lot of frustration Brother, from, you know, video gamey things where you accidentally progress the game past some optional dialogue you were in the middle of and then just lose that dialogue forever. It's such a nice, thoughtful feature. Uh, this game is full of those quality of life things I love, like uh, the lost item stab that I, I just raved about way earlier in the LP. It's just a lot of good, well thought out design decisions in this. Wow! I can't believe we're setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. It's Tear. The middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Aye, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, not I Not that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like... Brain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! Don't be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's going to laugh at me. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> That's true, but I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother, right after I finish killing your father! <laughs> Whoops, I think I broke him! <laughs> Oh, 
brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Well, uh, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.